Joe Biden now favors Trump as his 2024 opponent. Conspiracy theories are in their heyday right now, but the majority of them should be dismissed. Jeffrey Epstein was murdered by the Mossad in his cell, where he was forced to reflect on his fate as a child abuser for days on end. No chance. The nefarious hedge fund cabal is manipulating down the meme stock AMC, which is hemorrhaging money and is ready for the mother of all dilutions. I'm sorry, but AMC stock is already plummeting. However, over the past weekend, some intriguing rumors started to circulate in the lead-up to Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's indictment of Donald Trump, our former president who is running once more, the indictment is a scheme by a hostile Democratic prosecutor to get Joe Biden re-elected in 2024. Once more, I don't give conspiracy theories much credence, but this one is worth considering. Large GOP donors want having new faces at the top of the ticket. Except for the GOP base, most voters are turned off by Trump's failure in 2020, the failure of the majority of his hand-picked candidates thereafter, and his nasty behavior, January 6 and a lot more before and after. They believe that everyone on the Republican side, barring Trump, can defeat Sleepy Joe in 2024, can you picture Biden trying to outwit Ron DeSantis by blaming him for his border gaffes, the Afghan withdrawal, and his transitory inflation? Unlike Trump, the governor of Florida is self-aware enough to let Biden falter on the debate stage and lose. Biden is weak against everyone except the person who has just been in the news, according to the majority of intelligent Democrats. Because of this, a significant GOP donor and executive in charge of government affairs at a significant financial institution I spoke to thinks Bragg and the Dems are doing this to make Trump win the GOP nomination. Gather everyone. Ron. Other interactions with Republican contributors in recent days indicate that he is not alone. Yes, the wealthy are still attempting to support DeSantis because they are so determined to win the presidency, the House, and the Senate in 2024, which they believe would be lost if Trump is nominated. However, they are witnessing their best chance of victory fade away. Their dread had truly taken hold by last Wednesday following the spectacle of Trump's indictment and Bragg's own feeble defense of it. If you trust the polls, Trump is now the undisputed frontrunner for the nomination since base voters have started to donate generously to him. The same surveys indicate that voters want new faces to lead both parties, which is why, according to donors, the Biden campaign is using Bragg as a weapon to make Trump the GOP nominee. Trump doesn't seem to care that he's positioning himself and the party for significant defeats in 2024. His upcoming presidential campaign is already an exercise in self-centered scorekeeping. He may have appeared solemn during his arraignment on Tuesday, but if you know him, you also understand that he is relishing the limelight because it keeps DeSantis and other likely rivals out of the spotlight for the near future. Not that base voters don't have valid reasons to be upset. Alvin Bragg is by far the least trustworthy prosecutor to bring this case in the nation. He is a self-described zealot who opposes law enforcement and is funded by George Soros. In the name of social justice, he permits criminals to intimidate industrious New Yorkers by roaming the streets of Manhattan. Remember how we covered the outrage of the city's business community last year over his decision to not prosecute violent crimes? As a result, random murders of regular individuals who worked in the financial industry and used the subways happened. Since then, Bragg has done little to improve the statistics on subway crime. Regarding his Trump indictment, unless your motivation is something other than justice, it's a silly case, that Trump allegedly paid a porn star $130,000 in hush money to cover up a tryst years ago isn't a crime deserving of decades in jail, let alone Bragg's warped felony allegations. Again, consider this conspiracy idea to be true. Observe that in the days following Bragg's Trump gambit, there isn't much discussion of Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, or Mike Pompeo in the media. Trump likes things just the way it is.